There are many questions around Ben Askren's future after his first UFC main event does not go his way. Askren suffers a third round submission loss to Damian Maya in Saturday's UFC on ESPN plus 20 headliner from Singapore. Uh, this fight really just does not go Askren's way. It's clear from the outset that he is the deficit on the feet when it comes to striking with Maya and he kind of had to work his way through that. Landed a couple good shots on the feet but ultimately it looked like if he was going to have any chance he would have to grapple and when he did that was just taking him right into Maya's world. Askren definitely had some good moments with Maya in the grappling exchanges, but come the third round, makes an error, Maya gets on his back, and from there, he is rarely messing that up. He is able to finish the fight with a choke, and now Askren left in a very precarious position. He comes into the UFC earlier this year with an undefeated record, has that shaky debut win against Robbie Lawler, definitely some controversy attached. He was nearly finished before turning the tide and getting awarded that submission victory despite Lawler never tapping out comes back a few months later and we all know what happened with against Jorge Masvidal suffers the fastest loss in UFC history just five seconds knocked out with a flying knee sure that can happen to a lot of people all these fighters go through the game some get caught others don't this seemed like a very good opportunity for Askren to try to come back and rebound though against Maya who has a like-minded style but it just showed he was not quite on that level of Maya particularly on this night now Astrid has lost back-to-back -back fights after that undefeated start to his career, that argument that he is perhaps the best welterweight out there. Well, I think we know that is not the case right now. And does he want to move forward and try to prove that? Astrid, 35 years old now, has already retired once. Uh, he's got some healthy paydays in his day fighting for one championship and now the UFC doesn't really seem like the money is a huge element in his fighting career and needing to continue. So does he have the energy, the motivation to try to rebound and get off this skid? Something tells me, yes, he will. Uh, I don't know how many more fights Ben Askren has left in him, but I just cannot see him wanting to go out on that knockout loss to Masvidal and then the submission loss to Maya. I think he's going to try to get back in there and right the ship and it just depends when and where and against whom that will be. If I had my choice, I think Michael Chiesa would be a very compelling matchup for Askren. Another grappler, a guy who is very good with the submissions and I think that would be a just complimentary style matchup to Askren a little bit. If he can't beat Chiesa, who is a guy hovering right outside the top 15 at welterweight after being a lightweight mainstay, I think maybe he has to make some serious career considerations, but I think that would be a very fun fight. Uh, Chiesa would be happy to do a little talking back and forth with Askren. He likes that part of the game. The styles match up well, so I think that's the fight you go with here. Uh, both guys, known products. Chiesa obviously being a winner of the Ultimate Fighter, I'm sure would jump all over that opportunity. So just remains to be seen what Askren wants to do, what the UFC wants to do, but I don't think Ben Askren's done. I think he still has more left in the tank, and I'd like to find out exactly how much with the matchup against Michael Chiesa sometime in 2020.